something I never expected to bother me, let alone bug me to the extent that it is right now, is the disparity of CCTV. Which sounds like the nichiest thing to be thinking about, but like seriously, it is a genuine issue with really stupid causes, easy solutions, and like, no attempts at correcting it. Basically, where I live, the city I live in, London, is one of the most CCTV-operated cities in the world, um, and it was one of the first. I think New York may have been before its time, but uh, London was definitely one of the first. And I get both sides of the argument as to why people want CCTV and why people are, you know, hesitant and against CCTV quite often. Um, obviously, it is a safety tool, and it can be very, very useful in catching, preventing, and uh, prosecuting crime. But also, it's a privacy invasion. It's very uh, intrusive. It's unnecessary in certain places. And also, I understand this argument and can validate it more because you can think from the law-abiding citizen's perspective, a person who will not commit a crime, they are not going to think to themselves, oh, I'm on camera, uh, I, I need to be. They are going to think to themselves, oh, I'm on camera, I don't want to be on camera, I feel uncomfortable being on camera, because they are going to abide. Maybe they may feel that slight inkling of safety, increased safety, but if they're in an area with no crime or low crime, that's not going to occur, and they're just going to feel, well, this is, you know, not necessary, this is an invasion, this shouldn't be here watching me and storing everything I do and have the potential of being possessed by large corporations and data companies. It's a terrifying thing behind an incredibly useful thing. And then you go on and read about cases or uh, and issues where there was no CCTV camera present. There was no uh, CCTV active and things have happened, terrible things, and they haven't been caught on camera, and people have gotten away with such things. Um, the majority, the majority of gas stations do not have CCTV cameras. Gas stations, the number one bloody target for robberies, shootings, whatever, gas stations. Yet, they don't have cameras, but just random side streets where one hundredth of the amount of muggings occur and you're so much safer in places that are under active surveillance in some places that don't have a single camera where people will target and exploit and of course people willing to commit crimes may potentially evaluate where cameras are and commit crimes in the cameraless areas thus upping cameraless areas as higher crime areas but that's a very minimal side of the scale. Certain places that don't have cameras are of peak criminality and people get away with them. These gas stations, these um, back rooms, alleyways, certain places that you think 14 cameras on a main road, yet no cameras here. Like, that is an improper disparity. And it could be so much useful so much more useful in these places than there because really what is going on there one is less likely to be criminal or you know necessary to check the cameras and two is going to be caught on seven other cameras whereas nothing or no camera is going to be caught in other places and you know it's terrifying that there's no there's uh, not no there's less important actual worthwhile capturing capturable information but all this non-essential information is being captured and is being stored which is the scary part which is what the one thing that makes me want to back the anti-cctv movement more the anti-surveillance state movement more is because why is all this non-essential uh, stuff being saved and not only is it being saved it's being saved in manned stations where people can and will check through this stuff you know it is a drag but people are able to do that any person who works that can do there's no authorization there's nothing it's just a server that any pe people with that key which is everyone in that company can access which is terrifying why is it even a man's center like 
I didn't even get this. And it's, I don't even know why I'm so vexed over this, but it's just like I was reading about uh, a string of murders that happened in uh, gas stations across Route 7 in America, yet um, none of them were caught on cameras because uh, no CCTV anywhere. Whereas, you know, if I walk to the shop to be a law-abiding citizen to buy whatever I want from the shops and pay for whatever I want, I'm caught on 14 different cameras. Whereas actual criminals tend to not be, which is the disparity of CCTV.